How would I describe Helen? A uh, human dynamo. Genuine. Vivacious. Strong. Game changer. Trouble. She is unique. And she knows how to have fun. Lots of times just makes me laugh. Helen is a force of nature. A force of nature. Talk about a multitasker. And a constant party. When she enters the room, she changes the atmosphere. A woman with the biggest heart. She's tremendously caring. Probably one of the best people I know. I think her parents very much influenced her. We have nine children in the family. They taught us love, compassion, and to strive for the best. And so in school, I felt that I had to make the best grades. I had to win every writing contest, every math contest. I went to a woman's college, and back then that was sort of different. They gave us so much in life, so much to cherish. I have nothing but great memories. I didn't know ever that I would be in business at the time in my life that I went into business. She was uh, 40 years old and divorced and had two children and she truly opened the first place with her sister, my aunt Donna, thinking that she would go there to read the paper every day. We went into business in September and at the end of the year, which is next to unheard of, we actually showed a profit in three months. It was 1973, and in our industry, in the jewelry business, it was 99% men, and women were just not accepted at all. And she had to fight to get certain lines and to be respected in her industry. I said, I cannot sign my first name as Helen. They will wonder if the checks will bounce or if they will go through or what. I think he would say that she was dissed by this rep of a company that she knew that they could she could sell their jewelry and they thought she was just a woman and didn't treat her with any respect and that man has been coming in our store for the last 30 years and paying for it every time he walks in the door the first place is the first place because of my mother's eye for great design and style now we have had the greatest designers in the country and from around the world who come to the store and they all want to come here. She has an amazingly keen eye and understanding of product and customer. And there isn't a woman more enthusiastic about what she does. She's educated me into what her customers like and what's going on in the world. And just wake up, get with it. <laughs> Who doesn't shop at the first place? The fact that you can find anything you want at Helen's, at first place, from two dollars to many, many dollars. And uh, if you spend two dollars, she treats you like she does the customer who spends many dollars. I have worked for Helen Galloway for 23 years. Some say I have stars in my crown for doing it that long, but Helen has been a fantastic leader, mentor. She is a woman who is self-empowered and she empowers each and every one of us each and every day. It's actually like being in a social sorority and Helen is the star. <laughs> My mom and her employees, they're her family, they're her best friends. I feel like I've had more than one mother growing up and a lot of sisters and they're the best part of our life. I have loved my life with my two daughters. They're adorable. I am crazy about them. She was uh, the most fun mom. She always had us going somewhere, doing something, never a dull moment. But then I have this wonderful husband, Jake Galloway. You don't want to marry me, I said first. But if you do, it'll never be dull, boring, or on time. And believe me, I've lived up to it. He had a few complaints over the years, like, eating all of his meals, staying up because she was dragging him to every event. A lot of his meals on toothpicks, going to the opening of everything, including envelopes, in his words. Actually, we've been married 36 years, and it's been wonderful. We've had wonderful stories to tell about the first place. Uh, one of my favorites is the year on Mother's Day weekend, we had a rep in, and Helen had had him out the night before, and the next morning I called Helen because I was to let her in the store that morning. And she said, why are you calling? And I said, well, you know, the rep's in town and I need to go to the store. She said, what rep? She had transglobal amnesia, which means you only have about a two minute loop. You remember for two minutes and then you forget. And this poor boy was arrested and thrown in jail 
And the only person he knew to call was Helen Galloway, who had transglobal amnesia and didn't have a clue who he was. If a man is in trouble with his spouse in some way, shape, or form, you can count on Helen to give the most wise marriage counseling of all when she says, Honey, whatever trouble you're in, it's nothing that a little David Yerman jewelry from the first place can't help make better. At times in Dallas when we don't know where we're going, she flags down a cab and pays him to lead us to wherever we're going. A couple of years ago, while attending a high school basketball game of her granddaughter, referee made a very unfair call. And you can be assured that that referee and the opposing team knows that Helen Galloway is the ultimate advocate for fairness. She got kicked out of the school, like, had to leave the gym, but she was rooting for me. And I'm so happy she was there because it made a great story and I'll never forget it. Helen is involved in every organization I think there is in Wichita. American Diabetes Association. American Heart Association. Grace Mad. The Zoo. The Wichita Children's Home. The Symphony Board, the Ballet Board, Center for the Arts. Music Theater of Wichita. Boys and Girls Club, Big Brothers, Big Sisters. The Food Bank Warehouse she's still very involved with. I have loved the fact that I have put together this thing called Women of Wichita. Uh, now there are about 75 members and each of the ladies give a thousand dollars a year and we vote on worthy and needy organizations in Wichita that need help. So many women with one thousand dollars can't do much alone but together we're powerful. And this year we have given away seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars yes for the good of this city. She is an important passionate individual in Wichita that makes a difference. I just think she has this big heart. If she sees a homeless man on the street, she stops and helps. If there's a woman in the grocery store that looks tired, has a bag of groceries, she'll give them, say, what are you doing? I'm waiting for the bus. She'll give them a ride home. I don't think there is anybody in Wichita who has opened literally her business, her home, her heart more selflessly and generously than Helen Galloway. She is a proprietor of a fabulous jewelry store, but the real gold is in her heart. I think the title of it, Uncommon, is very fitting. Uh, she is <laughs> this award. Mm -hmm. Helen is this award. I've never seen her not genuinely want to help someone who needs it. She cares about her community in a way that other people don't today. The community wouldn't be the same without her. You know, she's committed to it and she lives and breathes it. When we travel, if anyone dares to make a comment about Wichita being a small town or a hick town, let me tell you, they get the other side of it. She's an ambassador for our city. I tell anyone that'll listen that comes into the store how wonderful Wichita is, how, what it has to offer, and it does have a lot. It's fitting that the Chamber of Commerce of Wichita would honor her since she is probably their number one advocate in the city. Here's to you, Helen Galloway. There are none better, and there are none more deserving of this honor than you. She's a wonderful woman, and she cares about all the things that she's being honored for, and I think she deserves every bit of it.